we usually distinguish between different types of braking systems by the mechanisms used. In other words, by the types of components used to generate friction to slow the vehicle down. One thing that all braking systems have in common is the presence and interaction of one moving component, usually rotating on an axle, and a fixed component attached to the vehicle chassis. Even in the days of vehicles drawn by horses, etc., there was already a braking system based on the use of primitive brake blocks. This system featured a lever that, when pulled, applied force against the outer rim of a wheel to generate friction braking that gradually slowed the vehicle until bringing it to a complete stop. This solution used the wheel itself as a component of the braking system and nowadays most bicycles use a variation of these brake blocks. The next stage in the evolution of this concept saw the development of clamp brakes fitted to early industrial machines, where the application of force to the transmission system or to the whole circumference of a component specifically designed for braking purposes. In terms of more recent innovations, nowadays a commonly used braking system involves the use of drum brakes. The drum is in effect an additional component that is fitted to the wheel and is specifically designed and manufactured for braking purposes. Inside the drum are two semicircular brake shoes covered with a friction material that, when activated, are pushed outwards to rub against the drum in a lining to stop the wheel from revolving. The latest technology that was already in use from the middle of the last century is that of disc brakes. The distinguishing characteristic of this system is the presence of discs fixed to the wheels against which the brake pads are pressed. The pads are housed inside a caliper fixed to the vehicle chassis. 